السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی آر ہیئر ود ان ادر لیکچر آف کمپیریٹو پالیٹکس سو ان دس پرٹیکولر لیکچر وی ول اسٹڈی اباؤٹ واٹ واٹ از اسٹیٹ ہاؤ اے نیشن از بیل واٹ آر دا ڈفرینٹ کمپوننٹس آف دا اسٹیٹ ان ایوری تھنگ سو اسٹیٹ فارمیشن ان نیشن بلڈنگ ہاؤ اے اسٹیٹ از بیسکلی فارمڈ اینڈ الٹیمیٹلی اے نیشن از بلڈڈ ان دا اسٹیٹ first one is clavages they are deep and persistent differences in society where objective social differences like class religion race language or religion are aligned with subjective awareness of these differences like different cultures ideologies and orientation and orientations so whenever a state is formed it is formed on the basis of uh, like two things Uh, a state is formed on some social uh, like values or we can say some social differences of course in a state there are different kind of people and every person is different from an other person how they they are different in class they are different in religion they are different in race they are different in language or or we can say uh, everyone is living in a different region so whenever uh, someone belongs to a different class or a different religion or a different race or with a different language or in a different religion region there are always some different cultures and everyone is believing on some different ideologies and there is some sort of different orientations so in this particular slide it it is basically stated that whenever a state is formulated it it is formulated on the basis of these things like it is it is formulated on the basis of class religion race language or region and as well as in in every state there are different cultures ideologies and orientations and on the basis of this a nation is built as well like whenever a nation is built uh, uh, there are ultimately in every nation there are some class system there is some religious system there is some race system there is a language there is a, like everyone is living in different regions so every state a nation is built on the basis of different of cultures different different ideologies and orientations so this is how a state is formulated and ultimately nation is built it so uh, rockan is basically a writer and he discerned four stages in the development of the modern state like uh, he states that there are four stages on the basis of which a state modern state is formulated first one is state formation as we have already discussed that how, how a state is formulated then there is nation building that how nation is built we will further study in detail as well then ma- mass democracies like there are mass democracies uh, there is the mass uh, like leadership of the general public and uh, uh, the government is run by the general public uh, the leader or the one who is running the government is chosen by the general public and people actually uh, and the one who is leading uh, the government is actually from the public so uh, what is the concept of, and then there are some welfare states as well so let's study them in detail first one is state formula formation formation sorry uh, like penetration leads took the initiative for the un- unification of a given territory usually the elites of major urban centers consolidated their control over peripheral and rural areas like uh, when when a, when an elite of an area uh, unify the uh, unify people for a particular territory and uh, it can be based on some urban or it can be based on some rural areas or it could be based on both urban and rural areas and uh, when when they formulate a uh, a uh, like part together or when when they unify a territory uh, but on on some consolidated terms so this would be named uh, name, uh, named as state then ter- ter- territorial consolidation was achieved mainly by economic and military means like uh, whenever someone uh, uh, claim his or her right on some territory 
so that claim is usually done through the economic ways or the military means how the military means someone attack on an other state and by the use of force and by the use of power by the use of uh, of their uh, like atomic power or their weapons ultimately we they just uh, like they just occupy that state and uh, ultimately they make it as their pa own part then there are usually the states who are economically very strong and because of their economic uh, like because they are economically very strong so they influence the other states and usually they hold the power of different state like those states are not power, uh, part of the uh, that uh, economic uh, power state or the state which has economic power but ultimately that state influence the decisions of the other states so in order to control these territories and secure their com compliance institutions uh, were built to provide internal order and deal with disputes uh, how the, they are different institutions uh, which basically work uh, like uh, uh, these are the institutions which base, which basically work to uh, run the system of the government in the state uh, what are those uh, like institutions uh, these institutions could be uh, executive legislature judiciary military and media so these are uh, like uh, different institutions which are formulated or which are uh, which are built in a state basically to help the government or to help the uh, we can say the ruling parties to uh, run the system of the government as well as with the, these institutions like executive legislature judiciary military and media uh, sorry basically there are these are the three main elements executive legislature and judiciary and then further we have added military and media as well that these are important as well to run the affairs of state but mainly there are three institutions or we can say uh, the power is separated between three institutions that is legislature executive and judiciary uh, uh, these institutions are built to provide internal order as well as to deal with the disputes uh, like uh, when whenever two people are in dispute whenever the two people in the state uh, will have some kind of dispute so these uh, institutions will help that people to resolve to help people of the state to resolve their disputes uh, so the institutions which are uh, formulated to resolve the disputes are police and courts and to provide the external security like to maintain the external security and law and order there is police and courts and to provide the external security or to protect the state from the external threats or we can say the threats outside of the country uh, these are armed forces and diplomatic services uh, how armed forces like our armed forces are on on our border borders uh, whenever a state be it uh, like uh, consider to attack our state uh, these border state these border uh, armies or border forces will protect the state from from that particular threat and then there are diplomatic services like uh, usually uh, uh, we just consider this thing that there are some issues which couldn't be solved by the use of power so what we have to do we have to do the table talk or we have to give a diplomatic stance for that particular issue so uh, the, uh, diplomatic services also uh, play a very important role like in pakistan uh, the foreign minister play uh, the role uh, for the diplomatic services and his role is very important then to extract resources taxes and tolls are implemented uh, like of course to provide all of these services to the general public uh, we need resources as well uh, the state needs economic uh, uh, economic support as well so for that purpose uh, state implement taxes and tolls on the general public and to improve the communication the roads and bridges are to be built in and uh, often for military reasons uh, like uh, ultimately uh, uh, of course uh, when when uh, we have to protect the state from the external threats 
we have to use the resources and to, for those resources we we need money so the that money is also collected through the taxes and tolls of the general public the nation building uh, the what uh, how a uh, standardization is done for the uh, for nation building purpose so the, during the second phase of nation nation building the main concern were cultural issues of a common language religious differences and compulsory education uh, like uh, whenever it was decided that how a nation is built uh, there were some cultural issues like in, in a nation there are different races there are different uh, there are many different people and uh, every there are different religions so every different every other race every other religion have different uh, cultures and uh, it is uh, it is difficult for the state to implement a culture uh, or a common culture in the state or to implement a common language in the state or to ignore the religious differences and uh, to uphold the compulsory education like of, of course if there are different languages so it is difficult for the state to implement the compulsory education or the education structure so it is difficult for them for them to decide uh, basically that what should be the language of instruction like it is difficult for them to decide that what would be the language of instruction uh, when when a state uh, oh, sorry uh, when if uh, exactly when the system of education will be implemented in the state so standardization is done done it is to be decided that what should be the culture of the state what would be the common language and uh, how we can ignore the religious differences and what would be the structure of the compulsory education then the aim was to create feelings of a common identity and a sense of allegiance uh, allegiance to the political system among the often dis uh, disparate population of the new state for example uh, uh, as we all know that whenever someone is attached with the state uh, that person has some sort of feelings or some sort of uh, uh, we can say uh, some uh, some sort of affection with that particular state so a nation is basically built to develop that sort of affection and develop that sense, sort of allegiance allegiance and to the people and to the political system among the often disparate population of the new state that uh, this is how uh, the uh, like population in the new state will be attached together then a common standardized language was spear, uh, sp uh, spread by compulsory education for every child like it is to be decided uh, about the common language and then that common language is basically promoted through the compulsory education in the state and every child is like bound to study that particular uh, common language as we know that in pakistan the common language is english and all of us are bound to study that particular language in our schools or in our colleges then there is military military conspirations for young men strength feelings for identity with the nation like of course to run the military system in the state uh, ultimately we we need uh, some sort of uh, uh, we need to maintain some sort of forces or we need to maintain uh, we need people who who will maintain the sources so we need we have to uh, develop some sort of uh, uh, like attached feeling in the young generation with with the state like when when they will have uh, that patriot type feeling in the in our young generation people will be ultimately uh, more uh, in depth to participate in the in the state uh, in in protecting the state and they will be more indulged in in uh, uh, like we can say in participating uh, the defense sector of the state as we can see the difference of uh, uh, we can say uh, the emotions or the difference of participation uh, between uh, usa uh, uh, like people of usa or between people of pakistan that how uh, both of these young generation uh, differently participate in the in the forces and their uh, we can say their emotions are different 
so the central idea of the nation state is the acceptance of the common cult culture uh, so ultimately if we see that how a state is built it or how a nation state is built it it is about the acceptance of the common culture like people actually believe on a common culture like pakistan is a common state uh, most of the times we all ha have almost the same uh, culture uh, and then we have a common history of course uh, we have common fate like uh, our enemies are same uh, and then irrespective of any social and economic difference between people like uh, mostly there are there are no social and economic differences in people but ultimately uh, like uh, we can say uh, that uh, we ignore the social and economic differences in the state but ultimately the culture is common the history is common and the fate is common लाइक अगर दिन दिन स्टेट में कोई भी शख्स अमीर है या फिर कोई शख्स बहुत ज़्यादा गरीब है तो दोनों जो लोग होंगे उनका जो है वो कल्चर सम हाउ सेम होगा ऑफ कोर्स उनकी हिस्ट्री सेम होगी उनका फेट सेम है सो वी जस्ट इग्नोर और वी कैन से लाइक वट एवर देयर सोशल स्ट्रक्चर इज देर इकनॉमिक प्लेस इज a nation state is the one which have some sort of common culture common history and common faith thank you so much this is it for today hope to see you in the next lecture and if you have any queries please ask them here thank you